Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. Lights dim. It's the slaves, Lord Cortez. There aren't enough of them. Then Arak must find more, wherever he can. Send him to the highlands. <laughs> Eternal power to Cortan! Where are we hunting today, Major Arak? The highlands, man. The highlands. Major, that's where the Dundees... Silence! Cortan's orders. Eternal power to Cortan. Eternal power to Cortan. Quentin, you must not run away. But Mother, they're coming. You must face them, Quentin MacLeod. MacLeod? Why are you calling me that? Because that's your true name. Your time has come, my son. Obey your mother, boy. Come here and fight. If you dare, get rid of that woman. I'll take care of this brave champion here. No! Let go of her! Murderer! Starting to learn, child, but you're beginning to bore me. Ah! The lesson's finished, child. Why did she call me McCloud? No! At last! Seven hundred years waiting for this moment. Quite a long time, I have to say.
his village and his life have been destroyed. With his mother murdered and his sister and clan captured by the hunters of Magonda, Quentin MacLeod is alone. He must find a way to rescue the Dundees and fulfill his destiny. Thus passed away Quentin MacLeod, and with him went the hopes and dreams of the Jetters, and the last chance for the salvation of the human race. Although I suppose we could always wait seven centuries for another immortal to be born.